Hello everyone and welcome to this overview video on how to get started with the Datasmith Exporter plugin for ArchiCAD. To get started, I'll start by installing the plugin, which I've downloaded directly from the Twinmotion web page. I'll follow the prompt and you'll notice it automatically detects which ArchiCAD version I have installed on my computer and I'll select all of them and click install. And now I'm ready to use the plugin. I'll open a sample project. Now that I have my ArchiCAD project, I'll have to go under my 3D view. And from there, I'll start to export the content inside of Twinmotion. To do that, I'll have to open the palette, which is under Windows, Palette, Datasmith. And now I can see it's visible here. There are four icons. The first one is to synchronize with the direct link. The second one is to manage connection for the direct link. The third one is to export a Datasmith file. And the fourth one is to show messages for logging. So the first workflow is to do the direct link. And to do that, we'll have to open Twinmotion first. Now that I have a brand new file open, I'll click on the import menu, go to the import direct link, and you'll notice it automatically detected my ArchiCAD file that was open with the project. And now I can decide how I want to organize my material and I'm going to select collapse by material. I'm going to click OK. And now I've created a direct link with the Twinmotion file. To bring in the content, I have to go back to ArchiCAD and click on the synchronize icon. After it finished processing, you'll be able to go to the scene graph and see all the materials that were brought in. Anytime I want to make changes, I'll just have to go back to ArchiCAD and click on the synchronize icon to push changes I've made in ArchiCAD. If you want to start working again on an existing project with a direct link, you'll have to open Twinmotion and the ArchiCAD file corresponding to your Twinmotion project. And it'll automatically detect the direct link. So this is the first workflow using the direct link method. And the second workflow is to import Datasmith file. So I'll click on the import menu and I already saved one. So I'm just going to click open and browse to the location where I saved it. and click open. Under option, I can also decide how I want to organize my materials and I say, I'll say collapse by material. Every time you'll need to make updates to your file, you'll have to export a new Datasmith file and refresh it or relocate it if you change the name. This concludes the overview on how to get started with the plugin, and I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye everyone.